What's up guys, I'm Nice Carlos Barrow. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so now. Hit that bell button as well so you're notified every time I upload a new video. For those of you who have subscribed and do follow me on Instagram, thank you so much and I appreciate your love. So today what I have for you guys is a part two of Johnny Depp's hair history. This video did very well, so I figured I'd do another part to share with you guys and go in a little bit deeper on Johnny Depp's hair archives and talk about it and share with you guys exactly how to achieve them. So let's go ahead and get into this video right now. And if you guys like Johnny Depp, hit that like button to Johnny Depp. So how to get Johnny Depp's hairstyle? Johnny Depp is undoubtedly one of the greatest actors of his generation. Over the years, the heartthrob has moved through a catalog of unique hairstyles, which we all love. Since rising to his prominence on 21 Jump Street in the mid 80s, Depp has been in the public eye. As an actor, he's definitely undertaken some of the most challenging, transformative, and colorful roles in film. Edward Scissorhands, Gilbert Grape, Donnie Brasco, George Jung, Jack Sporrow, Martin Rainey, John Dillinger, just to name a few guys. But before we get into this video, I wanna thank Scentbird for sponsoring this video, which is a subscription service for fragrances where you will find tons of name brand selections like Ugo Boss, Tom Ford, and Gucci. And I always definitely carry a scent stick with me. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would definitely know that this is my thing. And this month they sent me the latest Aqua de Parma, Mirto di Paneria, in this 0.27 ounce tube, which gives the aromic notes of myrtle, basil combined with lemon and bergamot, which smells amazing. A unique heart of sea breeze accents merged with rose and jasmine with notes of cedarwood and amber. This is definitely a keeper, guys. And you guys could get something like this or whichever you prefer by using my code CARLOS30 for 30% off at scentbird.com upon checkout. Everything you need to know will be down below in the description that will take you there. So if you guys wanna explore some amazing fragrances and get to define your fragrances style a little bit better, make sure you check out Scentbird and pick up one of these scent sticks because I'm gonna keep mine and I will not let you borrow it when you smell. So let's get back to talking about Johnny Depp. Due to these roles, Depp has endlessly transitioned between cuts, both short and long, yet he's always maintained a flawless alternative style. At 52, Johnny Depp still has a good head of hair and there are lessons to be learned from him on how to get the perfect haircut. So wait no longer, let's have a look at how to get Johnny Depp's hair. As one of Hollywood's biggest names, Johnny Depp has achieved success in music, acting, and producing. While making his name for his art, from his fresh face wannabe rock star to celebrated actor, Johnny Depp has triumphed with his disheveled mane. So let's talk about some of his top looks and how to get them. The first one will be Johnny Depp's long side parting. In 1987, Johnny Depp first appeared as a fresh-faced heartthrob officer, Tom Hansen, in 21 Jump Street. The age of the mullet was over and in its place, a side parting complete with a floppy fringe. And unlike the mullet, this style has to an extent stood the test of time. Johnny Depp's cut has long layers on top and is tapered around the back and sides. It could also be parted or quiffed. It's low maintenance and one of the 80s better offering. While Johnny Depp's style may appear slightly dated, a more modern look could be achieved by simply drawing inspiration. So how to style the side parting? This style is suited to a medium to thick hair, ideally with a slight wave. If you have a diamond shaped face like Johnny Depp, this style is ideal simply because it accentuates the bone structure. The length on top should be approximately 10 centimeters while the length on the sides is completely optional. To style, add some volumizing lotion while the hair is damp, part, then comb dry with a hair dryer. Then you're gonna wanna finish it off with a matte clay, something like chapter styling cream. Now let's move on to Johnny Depp's crybaby hairstyle. Long before Alex Turner showcased his new style in 2014, Johnny Depp showed us how it's done with a quiff in the 1990s film, Cry Baby. While Cry Baby was not well received, Johnny Hair's Depp certainly was. This rockabilly style is perfect complement to a plain tee and an awesome leather jacket. The crybaby is a difficult haircut to pull off without looking like an Elvis Presley impersonator or a Danny Zuko wannabe. So it is essential that the style is in keeping with your overall personality. So how to style the crybaby. This style is suited to medium to thick hair. It works well with most face shapes, diamond, oval, and square heart or even triangle. The length on top should be around 12 centimeters. The length at the side should be around six centimeters tapered at the back and sides. 
wash with a good quality shampoo, tile dry, and using a comb, dry backwards with a hair dryer. Then you're gonna wanna rub a small amount of pomade between the palms and work backwards into your hair while still damp. Continue with a hair dryer until dry, and if you'd like, you could reapply once the hair is completely dry until the look and hold is completely achieved. Then comb the sides back so they are tight to the head and flick a couple of strands forward in front of your forehead. On to the next, Johnny Depp's long hair. By 1992, Johnny Depp has grown his hair out to the following year. This was the result right here a long flowing mane of slightly waved locks. Johnny Depp's hair was a perfect marker for the beginning of grunge culture and a style which equally suited his character in What's Eating Gilbert's Grape. Alongside a young Leonardo DiCaprio, Depp's clean cut was completely gone. How to style long hair. As far as face shapes, I think oval heart and diamond. Straight hair does not work particularly well. At least a slight kink will be needed. The main issue is achieving the main issue to achieving this style is growing it out. You must persevere. To reach shoulder length, your hair will need to be about 30 to 40 centimeters, part at the side, center, or swept back. Alternatively, tie it up in a bun, like Johnny Depp in the movie Blow, which is the best hairstyle ever. Make sure to invest in a good shampoo and conditioner to keep your hair in good shape. Try to wash a few times a week. Let the natural oils flourish. Style your hair with a mousse and you could add sea salt spray to add a little bit of texture and both are completely optional but I highly recommend. Johnny Depp's buzz cut. Yes, this is Johnny Depp right here. The day of long hair were in the past as he temporarily donned a buzz cut while promoting Donnie Brasco in 1997. Unlike many of his other hairstyles, Depp has not reverted back to this in almost two decades. He 100% favors longer styles, but showed us how the buzz cut is done. This cut is always both in and out of style. It's never been mainstream, but in the same light, it's a haircut that will never be ridiculed anytime soon. So how to style the buzz cut. If you don't like the shape of your head, it's probably best to avoid the buzz. It's best suited to straight, square, or angular faces, as there will be very little to no hair any hair type will work. Length for a buzz cut can vary between 0.5 centimeters and three centimeters. Your hair can be shaved at home if you're looking to save a little bit of money. If you do, make sure you invest in some really good clippers. If you decide to shave, shave against your hair direction. That's very important. And remove the guard to trim around your hairline. Alternatively, get your hair cut with a scissors and comb at your barbers. They will make sure to use the shape of your head to give you a more flattering look and add a little bit of texture with this technique. So do the right thing. Johnny Depp's short hair. One of Mr. Depp's older styles is having short hair. While the long hair is more of a signature look for the crybaby rock star, there was actually a time when he rocked the short hair that you see right over here. here. Achieving this look is simple enough and doesn't take long in the morning either. All you'll need is some good pomade or some hair clay, a white tee, and a simple jacket. How to style short textured hair. This works with all face types, which is awesome. Ideal for thicker hair. Length should be around four to eight centimeters. It's all in the cut. Show your hairdresser a picture, make sure you show her a picture, and make sure to ask for plenty of texture and layers, and style with a little bit of matte clay and or some wax. Johnny Depp's chin length hair. Perhaps the most well-known of Johnny Depp's hairstyles. Shoulder length with an off-center parting. As Captain Jack Sparrow hit the screens, Depp's hair was long once again, and this time even lighter. Now into his 40s, Depp refused to give up his youth and the result speaks for itself. Depp's hair was at its best. How to style shoulder length hair. This style works for most face shapes. If you've got straight hair, you'll look a little bit like Iggy Pop. A slight wave is honestly best for this hairstyle. You'll need to grow for approximately a year from your hair being very short. Cut regularly to ensure layers grow out. If dying, opt for a slightly lighter tone than your natural hair color, particularly if you're a little bit older just because, and make sure to invest in a color-treated shampoo and conditioner, moisture-rich, and wash in cold water. Style with a little bit of sea salt, spray so you'll have that nice beachy vibe going on, and you're good to go for this hairstyle. So this is what I have for you guys today, Johnny Depp's hairstyles. I hope you guys like this part two. You guys could see part one right here or at the end, it'll be a end screen and you guys can click and make your way there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what your hair type is down below and also what your favorite actor is and what other celebrity I should do next. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to share it and like it. 
share it with your best friends, whoever has really cool hair. And I will really appreciate that. And a like goes a long way for me. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. If you guys want to follow me and see more at Bird on Instagram, I'm there every single day. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget to check out Sam Bird down below in the description and start smelling good because we all should. Don't forget to put style on everything. Peace out.